Hello everyone, welcome back to another Pricey P Roblox Studio tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to make a flying, floating object in Roblox. Here in my workspace, you can see I have a blue ball and a red ball. And we're going to look at the concept of turning the red ball into a flying helium balloon. Basically, every part in Roblox, they all have their own physical properties based on the material that you have selected for the part. For example, let's select a different material for the red wall. Let's say we select fabric. Now we can see the physical properties of fabric just by going to the properties window, scroll down, look for custom physical properties, check that box, expand it, and these here are the physical properties of fabric. The density you have 0.7. Let's go and change the material to something else and we can see that these numbers are going to change because these numbers are corresponding to the material that you have selected for the part. Before you go and change the material, make sure you turn off custom physical properties. Otherwise, they're going to stay the same. And now go back up. Instead of fabric, we're going to select something heavy, like a rock. So now our material is a rock. And let's go back down and check the physical properties of a rock. Check this box here. And you can see the density of the rock is much heavier, much denser than that of fabric. So here comes the concept of making the flying helium balloon. All you have to do is you need to get the density of air. And then you change your parts material density to something that is lighter than air, than that of the density of air. Then in theory, the object should fly up in the air, should float in the air automatically. So that is the concept. Let's now do it and we'll see if it's gonna work. So the first thing we need is we need to get the density of air. So I'm gonna turn off my custom physical properties here and we're gonna go back to the material. We're gonna select air, but as you can see, air is not available on the list of materials that I can select here. So instead of selecting from the list here where air is not available, we're going to go to the red ball and we're going to add a script. In our script, we're just going to print out the physical properties of air. Let's take a look. This is the physical properties of air. So the first entry here is the density. So if I just make my parts density lighter than this number, 0 0.009, the part should float up in the air automatically, right? So why don't we make it zero? And that should definitely make the part float up into the air. Let's go back to the script and we're just gonna enter the following lines. So on the first line here, we're declaring our part, which is the red ball, density, friction, and elasticity we're making them all zero. We're creating a physical properties object here and we assign it to the custom physical properties of the ball, of the red ball. So this here should make my parts density lighter than air, right? And here we're printing out the uh, properties, the physical properties of air. And here we're printing out the physical properties of my red ball, just to compare. Let's now run tests and take a look. We expect the red wall to fly up in the air, but it did not. Let's press stop here and go back to the script and take a look. On line number 10 here are the physical properties of air. And on line number 12 here are the physical properties of our part. The reason our part did not float up into the air is because you can see the density of air is exactly the same as the density of our part. And the reason for that is this number here is the current minimum density available in Roblox. So no matter what you put in the density, even if you put in zero, the system will convert it back to the minimum, which is this number. You can actually see this by selecting the part, go to custom physical properties, check that box and expand it. Now you see our part density currently is 2.691, right? If I change this to zero, hit enter, you can see that it automatically changes to 0 0.01 because that is the current minimum density available in Roblox. So as of right now, this theory of making a floating flying helium balloon is not gonna work, but by 
February 26, 2024, Roblox is going to make a change. So they are going to change the minimum allowable density in Roblox to 0 0.0001. So that is going to be the new minimum density in Roblox on February 26, 2024. And on that date, the density of air is going to be 0 0.0029. And on that date, February 26, 2024, if anything is set to lower than this minimum, 0 0.0001, it's going to convert to 0 0.0001 instead of 0 0.01 as it currently does. So what's going to happen is if we run this game on February 26, 2024, our ball is going to float up in the air because we set the density to zero and it's going to convert to 0 0.0001, which is lighter than the density of air and the part should automatically float up into the air. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to publish this game as flying balloon concept and in the description, I say, check it out after February 26, 2024. And we're going to come back after that date and check it out to see if our balloon is going to float up into the air. So everyone click that subscribe button and we all gonna check it out together after February 26, 2024. Thank you all for watching and we hope to see you again even before February 26, 2024. Take care everyone. Peace.